Good morning, welcome to my laboratory. All right, I have to use a tripod for this demonstration. Uh, that right there is the general radio strobe attack, and uh, this this little guy right here is a photo detector that I'm just using to display the strobe attacks flash rate on that oscilloscope right up there. See how, how convenient it is to use a tripod? Oh, it's really hard for me to pan around and show what I need to show. But okay. So now what I'm going to be doing is uh, demonstrating this little fan and, uh, and the strobe attack, hopefully. Okay, I guess you can, can you see? Oh man, I can't really tell from the monitor, but uh, ceiling fan. Okay, that's a 12 volt DC, 0 0.9 amp fan, and you can see that I've painted one of its blades white, or silver rather, and you can also see that uh, just a little bit of, a uh, little bit of finger motion on that sharp blade and it uh, turns very easily all the way around but then as it slows down it uh, cogs back and forth between two of the magnet potential hills what an amazing thing and because it has seven blades and one two three four one two three four it has four potential hills when it rocks back and forth, it only rocks back and forth a little bit. But if it only had one potential hill, it would rock back and forth between those, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Try to keep my fingers out of it. And uh, that right there is 12 volts. And uh, can you see the power supply on there? 12 volts and 0.93 amps. So that's that's right. And this thing is really blowing. Can you see the little? It blows the air around. Uh, yeah. Anyhow, that's quite a graph. All right, so now, um, let's see, let me turn that back down to a dull roar, and we'll start the strobe attack. And I have the strobe attack set, uh, right there, for 2600 RPM flash rate. I hope this is showing up on the screen. I can't really tell on the monitor. Okay, so let's point that back at the experimental area, there, right there. Alright, and uh, let's see, we've got the uh, trace happening on the screen from the photo detector. And you can take my word for it that that's 43 hertz, there. can't zoom out far enough. Alright, so the flickering you're seeing right now is the interaction between the strobo uh, flash rate and the camera's frame rate. And that changes a little bit depending on what the camera decides to use as its shutter speed. Okay, but the point of this demonstration is the fan. Alright, so the fan is off. And what I'm going to do is uh, start running up the power on the fan. That's about 4 volts into the fan there, and uh, right around there is the first freeze of the seven blades of the fan. But you can see that the label is still rotating, so we haven't gotten to the correct 2600 RPM yet. I'm going up with the voltage. 
there's another freeze of the fan blades, but again, you can tell from that 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 uh, we still haven't frozen it at the tax uh, RPM rate yet. So more voltage. All right. Now that uh, that's 4.9 volts right there, and that is the 2600 RPM rate. And you'll notice that the fan is quiet. It's still moving a pretty good amount of air. But uh, 2600 RPM is not all that fast, folks. It's really not. And uh, it doesn't take a lot of power to turn a propeller blade at 2600 RPM. Let me go up with the voltage now. Just to show the interesting uh, frame rate effects. Let me zoom in a bit here. I stuck my finger in this fan a few minutes ago and it really hurt. I took the blade guard off to make a better video and wound up sticking my finger in it. Okay, this is 5.5 volts. Going up on the voltage. Six volts. This is a seven bladed fan. Eight volts. Nine volts. Ah, now there is a harmonic. This is 9.8 volts. We are actually probably going um, 5,200 RPM now. Going up in speed, 10 volts. And from here, the series will repeat as we go up. 10.7 volts. 11 volts, 11.4 volts, 12 volts. Okay, now I'm going to run this double tack up and we'll see if we can catch the RPM of this thing. There's a subharmonic there. That's 31 or 3200 volts, uh, 3200 RPM on the strobo tech. Strobo tech flashing for 3900 RPM. Got to change ranges. Five thousand strobe attack flashing, five thousand RPM. What we're looking for is this picture right here, where the label and the blade is stationary. That's sixty-one. That's just over six thousand RPM right there. I'm varying the flash rate just a little bit now. Okay, so 6,100 RPM on the, on the strobe attack. Now I'm going up with the flash rate again. That's 
That's an interesting one. That's 8,500. And there's another, there's an interesting one there. You got uh, two images of the label, two images of the blade, and uh, 14 total blades there. That's 12,000 RPM on the strobo tack setting. So we're seeing actually uh, a double image of the blade there. Fourteen thousand. Seventeen thousand. Sixteen eighty. Eighteen thousand. Twenty thousand. Twenty one thousand. Twenty four thousand. And that's as high as the old stroll attack will go there, twenty five thousand RPM. Uh, okay, let's go back down. to where we know we are back to flashing for 2600 RPM and then I'll turn the fan voltage down until until we're back at 5 volts 2600 RPM yes that that fan is turning. All right. Thank you for watching this demonstration of uh, stroboscopic motion freezing using the General Radio 1531-AB uh, strobotack.